In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. By the Sacred Heart of Jesus, and the Immaculate Heart of Mary, one with Louisa, the little daughter of the Divine Will, I enter into the Holy Divine Will. Come, Divine Will, come beat in my every heartbeat, come breathe in my every breath, come pray, adore, and reign in me. In the name of everyone and everything, past, present, and future, in, with, through, and for Jesus, Mary, and Louisa, in, with, and for all, that all may be for the glory of God and the good of all souls giving to God as if all lived in the most holy divine will. United with creation, redemption, and sanctification, praying as one in that one eternal act. For the kingdom to come, Reign on earth. Fiat. Day 17 The Queen of Heaven, in the kingdom of the Divine Will, leaves the temple. Marriage with St. Joseph Divine mirror to which she calls to reflect themselves all those who are called by God to the marital state. The soul to our celestial mama. Holy mama. Today, more than ever, I feel the need to remain clasped in the arms of my mama, so that that divine will which reigns in you may form the sweet enchantment to my will, that it may keep it subdued, and it may not dare to do anything which is not will of God. Your lessons of yesterday made me comprehend the life imprisonment into which the human will casts the poor creature. And I so much fear that my will may take little escapes from me and take its place in me again. Therefore, I entrust myself to you, my mama, that you may watch over me so much that I may be sure to live always of divine will. Lesson of the Queen of Heaven Cheer up, my child. Have courage and trust in your mama. And an iron resolution never to give life to your will. Oh, how I would love to hear from your lips. My mama, my will is ended. And the divine fiat has total empire in me. These are the weapons that make it die continuously and conquer the heart of your mama to use all the loving arts of mother so that her child may live in the kingdom of her mama. For you it will be sweet death which will give you true life and for me it will be the most beautiful victory I will achieve in the kingdom of the divine will. Therefore, have courage and trust in me. This trust is of the cowardly and of those who are not really committed to obtaining victory 
and therefore they are always without weapons. And without weapons one cannot win, and is always in constant and vacillating in doing good. Now, my child, listen to me. I continued my life in the temple, and my little escapes up there to my celestial fatherland. I had my rights of daughter to make my little visits to my divine family, which more than father belonged to me. But what was not my surprise when in one of these visits of mine they made known to me that it was their will for me to leave the temple. First, to unite myself in bond of marriage according to the custom of those times to a holy man called Joseph and to withdraw together with him to live in the house of Nazareth. My child, in this step of my life, in appearance, it seemed that God wanted to put me in a trial. I had never loved anyone in the world, and since the divine will extended through my whole being, my human will never had one act of life. Therefore, the seed of human love was missing in me. How could I love a man in the human order? as great a saint as he might be. It is true that I loved everyone and that my love toward all was so great that my love of mother had inscribed them in my maternal heart one by one with indelible characters of fire. But this was all in the order of divine love and human love compared to the divine can be called shadows, shadings, atoms of love. Yet, my child, that which in appearance seemed to be a trial and as though strange for the sanctity of my life, God used in an admirable way in order to fulfill his designs and to grant me the grace which I so much longed for that is, the descent of the word upon earth. God gave me the safeguard, the defense, the help, so that no one could talk about me, about my honesty. St. Joseph was to be the cooperator, the tutor, who was to take care of that bit of the human which we needed as well as the shadow of the celestial paternity in which our little celestial family on earth was to be formed. So, in spite of my surprise, immediately I said, Fiat, knowing that the divine will would not harm me or prejudice my sanctity. Oh, had I wanted to place one act of my human will, even in the aspect of wanting to know no man, I would have sent to ruin the plans of the coming of the word upon earth. Therefore, it is not the diversity of states that prejudices sanctity, but the lack of divine will, and of the fulfillment of one's duties to which God calls the creature. All states are holy, marriage too, as long as the divine will is present in them, as well as the exact sacrifice of one's duties. But the great part are indolent and lazy, and not only do they not make themselves saints, but they make of their state some a purgatory and some a hell. So, as I learned that I was to leave the temple, I did not say a word to anyone, waiting for God himself to move the external circumstances to make me fulfill his adorable will. 
as indeed it happened. The superiors of the temple called me and said to me that it was their will, and also the custom of those times, that I prepare myself for marriage. I accepted. Miraculously, among many, the choice fell upon St. Joseph, and so the marriage was formed, and I left the temple. Therefore, I pray, child of my heart, that in all circumstances you take to heart the divine will alone, if you want the divine designs to be accomplished over you. The Soul Celestial Queen, your child entrusts herself to you. With my trust, I want to wound your heart. And may this wound always say in your maternal heart, Fiat, Fiat, Fiat. Day 17, Little Sacrifice. Today, to honor me, you will come onto my knees and will recite 15 glory bees to thank the Lord for all the graces he granted me up to the 15th year of my life, especially for having given me the company of a man so holy as well St. Joseph. Ejaculatory Prayer Powerful Queen, give me the weapons to wage battle, to make me conquer the will of God. Dearest Lord Jesus, I thank you for your lessons of today. Free me from living one single instant outside of your will. Have pity on me and do not permit that I either know or acquire any other life except that of your divine will. Fiat et Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.